We don't want to be out again. <laughs> Jim, how would this be? Ain't that the prettiest wig you have ever seen? He wore this in a program at church, and uh, we just had to use it. We say it was done on the white hat in this. <laughs> How's your music career going? The music career is wonderful. My band's doing great. I wrote a new song. Wrote a new song. What was? He gets that thing to go in. Won't come off the ground. Nobody wants to buy it. Seems like I only had sales trip. What was the name of? Well, the first one I wrote, uh, I can't understand people. This is a good song, too. Said, uh, the Lord gave her a beautiful face, but she picked her nose herself. <laughs> I can't understand why people don't like it. Well, that's a terrible song. That's, uh, did you do anything any better than that? But I wrote one that uh, was pretty good. It said that the shades of night were falling fast, but I got a pretty good look anyway. <laughs> well, it just never did take off. I don't understand that. Then what? Well, I guess one of the best songs we ever wrote was about this old boy in jail. It says, you can lock me in the jailhouse, but you can't keep my face from breaking out. <laughs> uh, speaking of breaking out, that's right here on the paper, too. I, I, I got it, yeah. Did you hear about the midget mind reader who escaped from jail? The midget mind reader escaped from jail. Tell me about it. Next morning, the headlines read, small, medium, at large. <laughs> I don't care what you like. That's funny. That's funny. <laughs> Do you hear about uh, Ransom? Do you hear about old Ransom's tape? What the, what the doctor like? No, no. Ransom, Tell me about it. Ransom got there to the doctor and said, Doctor, I can't hear nothing. He said, I've, I've just gone totally deep in this right ear right here. Is that right? Yeah, the doctor said, well, Ransom, have a seat there, son. I'll fix you right up. So the doctor, he, he gets this, you know, this little light thing. Yeah, and yeah. Here, he's looking down in Ransom's ear there, and he says, Nurse, give me some tweezers. So she gets the tweezers. He reached down in this ear. And pulls out this thing and he looks at it and said, Ransom, that's a suppository. What's this suppository doing in your ear? Oh, Ransom said, now I know where my hearing aid is. <laughs> and I said, no body part. Well, that's not a body part. That's an ear joke. That's an ear joke. <laughs> All right, did you hear about the old man and woman in the nursing home that fell in love and got married? No, I didn't hear that. Tell me about it. It was wonderful. This sweet. The first night they took him over and put him into bed with his new wife. And he reached over and grabbed her hand and held her hand while they went to sleep. Oh, that's just that's sweet. That's tender. Yeah, that really is. Second night. Second night. Same thing. That's a nursing home, right? Yeah. That's a nursing home. They put him into bed. He reached over and grabbed her hand and held it oh, tenderly and that's slept that's all that night. That tears me up. Third night. Uh-oh. He reaches over and grabs her hand, and she says, Not tonight, dear. I've got a hand ache. <laughs> hand ache? That reminds me of a couple celebrating their 60th wedding anniversary. Oh, my. Uh, so they decided they'd go back to Niagara Falls. You know, the name back to Starch, you know, up at Niagara. And, uh, and they were going to go in the same room and, and visit the same place they did 60 years ago. So they get up there in Niagara and they go in the set. That's this motel still there. That's the same room. And they went in and, and they go into uh, the same bed, the same place that was just time out. Look at the rapt attention on the faces of these people. They wonder where this joke's going. Oh, well, and see, uh, it's a squeaky clean. It's squeaky. Clean. Later on, that, as, as time went on during the evening, of course, 60 years later, they was laying there, you know, watching the TV. And, she says, you remember 160 years ago, you uh, kind of gave me a little peck on the cheek. Oh, yeah. So he reached over and kissed her on the cheek. Well, you remember, say, 160 years ago, you kind of gave me a little hug. So, okay. So he reached over and gave her a little hug. She said, don't you remember about 60 years ago, you kind of mm -hmm. nibbled on my ear? So he gets out of bed starts walking off and she said hey where are you going going to get my teeth <laughs> now i said no sex joke now you started it now i ain't, ain't no sex joke well, let's just sing another song but <laughs> try, try jim hold it down folks that's uh we don't want to be obligated <laughs>
Jim, how's this best? Ain't that the prettiest wig you have ever seen? <laughs> <laughs>